Hey y'all. I get a lot of questions about my composting toilet and so I thought I would talk about it a little bit because, well, I have a love-hate relationship with it. I love that I haven't put in a septic system because septic systems tear up your land, they usually put it in your best gardening spot, it permanently ruins the land, you can't really garden or farm or grow food there anymore. I've seen septic systems put in and even for a small house they have to tear up a huge amount of land and they put in stuff like plastic and packing peanuts and all kinds of weird disgusting not environmentally good shit and then you shit in it. But the composting toilet you take care of yourself so basically the difference between flushing away and having a toilet that you actually have to do something about which is a little weird at first it's kind of like for you women out there who switched from throw away maxi pads and tampons to things like glad rags or the diva cup you kind of have to get in touch with your uh, bodily functions fluids and solids anyway let me grab the camera and get some close-ups for you This is the top of the toilet, and they really tried to model this particular uh, particular composting toilet after something that looked uh, more like a real toilet, even though it really looks like a kind of nursing home assist toilet chair. But it really does have more of a a real toilet feel. Now, this particular system is really simple and everything's contained right here it doesn't go away there are systems where you you know have your liquids and solids go away but this is meant for small cabins and boats and RVs and things where there is nowhere to make it go away um, anyway the toilet lid flips up as you can see well you may or may not be able to see it is very stained in there that kind of is gross maybe to people who you know are guests at my house I'm not really sure but anyway your urine really does kind of stain stuff up and poop and everything anyway so here there's a flap and there's this lever right here and that is for solids and you flip it down and it opens up a hole to poop in when you flip it up all of your urine is redirected down into these front holes so that urine doesn't mix with the solids if urine and poop mix together the poop doesn't really compost so good and it stinks really bad in this composting toilet now with a humanure toilet they recommend you pee in a different place but I've done where liquids and solids are all in one humanure bucket and I liked it better. So to to empty out the urine container, which I, I am most disgusted and fascinated with, you have to undo these levers on each side of the toilet. Then you actually take the toilet and lift the entire thing up. So every time you have to empty your urine container you have to face the poop container which composts the poop and it does a pretty good job actually and the poop doesn't really bother me and it has this thing inside it you can see oh yeah looks awesome huh this is my graphic 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 video that is the poop stirrer now this container is also supposed to have um, some kind of fan or something but whatever I never could figure that shit out and the urine container which is right here we're gonna pull it out it's about half full you can only see that in the sunlight though and that is a major problem now I usually take my urine container outside and um I usually empty it when it's a little bit more full than this but anyway I usually empty it into my bonfire pit 
which will gross everyone out who went to my party. Um, <clears throat> but the reason I do this is because there's a lot of ash and charcoal and gravel and stuff like that, and I haven't set up anything uh, more elaborate yet. Um, so here's, here's what I do. That is various people's urine. So one of the things you can do with the urine, I'm sure, too, is that you could uh, dump this with the with the composted solids and into like hay bales and, and do like a real composting system. Um, but this is my half-ass woodsy version and I think that maybe it'll help keep bears away from my house. So using my spring water pump, I turn it on with the hose and I rinse the urine container out. Um, you probably don't have to do this, but I do because when you put the urine container back on your composting toilet, the smell comes up through those holes. And I'm going to tell you now, the smell of the urine is way worse than the poop container. So, I take the urine and wash it out and now it's very diluted so I just dump it at the base of a tree because at this point it's not not a big deal and I've read and heard from many people on Facebook actually that some diluted urine is actually good fertilizer mmm so now we're back in the bathroom and I'm putting the urine container back in its overflow. Um, but I just want to be honest here with people who are considering this kind of composting toilet. I find it a real problem that this container here is uh, not completely transparent. Now I'm sure they do that so that you don't get grossed out by your own urine and it's more discreet or beautiful, but you can't really see in a semi-dark room as my bathroom is in this cabin when the urine container is really actually getting full so it kinda sucks because if you look up here there's this really disgusting little hole where the urine um, has been flowing through from the holes in the top of the toilet which are up here now what happens is if people keep peeing in the toilet let's say if I've had a party or something, then what happens is the urine, when I lift right here, has overflowed and it backs up into this part of the toilet, making a really huge, disgusting urine waterfall, which will come out of this hole, and it's supposed to go into this catch container, but it doesn't. It splashes out everywhere and um, it really makes me gag and if you look at my floor it looks really uh, dirty and dusty and that's because recently for the third time the urine container has totally overflowed when um, I had guests over <clears throat> and no one can see when the urine t container is getting full and that's baking soda and uh, ash and various things to try to actually absorb the liquid that gets on the floor. Man, did I mention that the bathroom really fucking stinks now? <laughs> now that I opened that thing up. 